and I say, I tell you no. Yeah. We're talking about, talk about COVID-19. Yeah. Uh, I just want to show you why we don't take the job. Give me some 12 and 10. Okay. This is why. This is the scripture. Because yesterday you say you fully vaccinated and you asked me, am I going to do it? I tell you yeah. no. Hell no. Yeah, and this is yeah. why. This is what God said. Okay. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. God said, God message to us, the Israelite, never trust thy enemy. Do we have enemies? Absolutely. One of the problems here we have in Ghana, we think everybody loves us. We don't have no enemies. Oh, yes, you do have enemy. Uh, uh, somebody that people that love you don't put you in chain, don't put you in slavery, don't rape, don't murder you, don't come here, store all your, all your resources and go back home and put you put you in a uh, in a uh, uh in a uh, what you call it like uh the uh, poor, poor state of mind they don't poor, experiment on you do okay. experience on you because all all uh that's what uh my brother here my brother isaac was saying that about the Tuskegee experiment i know a lot of you in ghana have ever heard of it but we in america we heard of it and we know what it is just okay. like i just like i made this statement yesterday there is no place in history and you can go and research it yourself where it show the white man ever saved the black man he's always they're trying to get rid of us okay. so no no i'm not going to let them experience in me or my brothers or the israelites so read the scripture again sirach chapter 12 and verse 10 never trust thine enemy god said never trust thy enemy we do have enemy okay. you people ain't gonna have enemy read for like as iron rusteth so is his wickedness you know how you take a piece of iron you turn it in the water did it get rusted the same time, the same day? No. It takes months. Sometimes it takes years to get yeah. rusted. Yeah. It's like a snake. You see, you find a snake on the, jung on the jungle behind your house. You go inside a house. You try to pet. You try to turn that snake into a pet. Eventually, what that snake going to do? The snake going to go bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually, the snake going to swallow you. Or the snake, a poison snake going to bite you and you're going to die. Okay. It's the same thing with the enemy. That's why I made that statement yesterday. I said, no, we're not going to take that job. Okay. okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, and there were experiments done on this side as well. It's just not limited to the Tuskegee experiment. All right, okay. you had an experiment um, in particular. You guys could go do the research. It was in South Africa where they were giving the people AIDS. They were infecting them with AIDS because okay. their agenda was population control. Okay. So these are things that we have to remember. We must remember. They just came out with a documentary on it. You could find it. Okay, okay. Yeah, so Isaac, you are on the issue of, about the Holy Spirit. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let, let's see what the Bible says about it. All okay. right. Because we got to read God's words. I'm not going to give you my own opinion. Let's go to Acts chapter 50, uh, chapter 7, verse 51. Okay. Acts, the 7th chapter, and the 51st verse. Mm -hmm. Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears. Ye stiff necked, meaning hard of hearing, and uncircumcised in heart, meaning your mind and ears. What do you use your ears for? To listen to the word of God. Yeah. Go ahead. Ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. You resist the Holy Ghost. You know how people in these churches now, like some of those pastors that called in with their questions, they'll say, we have the Holy Ghost. We have the Holy Ghost, brother. We serve white Jesus. So we have the Holy Ghost. Go ahead. As your fathers did, so do ye. So the, uh, the apostle St Stephen right here is saying, you always resisted the Holy Ghost. Your fathers did, so do you. Now, what is he talking about? Go ahead. Verse 52. Mm -hmm. Which of the prophets have you have not your fathers persecuted? Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? Come on. And they have slain them which shewed before of the coming of the just one. Come on. Of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. Read. Who have received the law. Who have received the what? The, the law. law. The law, meaning the words of God, the testimony of the law. Come on. By the disposition of angels. Uh-huh. And have not kept it. Go back to verse 51. Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and in ears. Mm -hmm. Do always resist the Holy Ghost. Jump back to verse 53. Who have received the law. Who have received the law, the word of God. Uh-huh. By the disposition of angels. Come on. And have not kept it. What's the Holy Ghost? My question to you. I made that so easy a third grader could understand. 
Don't give me the goo goo eyes because you were listening. You're sitting right here. Yeah, I was what, listening. Yes, but what is what is the Holy Ghost? You you, you wanted to explain something to me. Yes. and you read a quotation. Yes. from the Bible. Yes. so I, I want you to explain it. To okay, me because but, I don't want to put my spin to it. But here's the thing: people wanted to understand. Absolutely, I, and, I and you said you you I you you, you believe in the Holy I understand. Spirit because I understand. Scripture says so. But here's the thing. Yeah, here's the thing. I want to make sure that you and the listeners are paying attention because the Bible speaks for itself. Okay, so that's why I'm trying to make this a dialogue. Mm. I'm gonna do it again. No, no, mm-hmm. I, I, I've understood it. You understood but, it. Yes. Oh, great. What, what is your position on that? You've read it. My position yes. is God's position. Yeah. The okay. Holy Ghost is the Word of God, the laws of God. Okay. Whether it's prophecy or whether it's law, it's all the Holy Ghost. So when things that were said aforetime come to pass in the New Testament, that's the Holy Ghost on our forefathers to make it happen and to speak it. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost. The laws of God. Okay, so the, 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 the other conversation that came up was mm-hmm. the, the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit has got gifts. Got gifts. What gift, kind of gifts? Gifts of tongues. Gifts of tongues? Like Healing, what? Explain it. Faith. Healing, faith. What else? Keep going. Prophecy. You talked about prophecy. Okay, so tongues. Let's explain that. Let's go to oh, Acts 2. Let's go to Acts the second chapter. Yeah. Acts the second chapter because... In the Christian church, modern Christianity, what do they teach you that tongues are, right? That's what they tell you tongues is. What language is that? That's why you're laughing because it's ridiculous. What language is that? It's no, it, that, that does not exist. That's delusion of grandeur, the, the, well, the fixation the, the, of the your mind. They make us understand that is the language of the Holy Spirit. Yes, beginning. No, no, no. no. We're okay. going to show you what tongues is. Acts okay. the second chapter. Acts chapter 2 and verse 1. Mm-hmm. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Meaning, why did it say they were all with one accord in one place? Because Pentecost was one of those three feasts where we had to return back to Jerusalem and worship. And everybody had one mind, one agenda, and that was to keep the laws of God and return back to Jerusalem to keep the feast of Pentecost. Go ahead. Which is a high holy day, not a denomination. Yes. Pentecost. Thank you, D. Pentecost is a high holy day found in Leviticus the twenty third chapter, also known as the Feast of First Fruits. Is not a denomination. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Verse two. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, mm-hmm. as of a rushing mighty wind, mm-hmm. and it filled all the house mm-hmm. where they were sitting. Mm-hmm. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, mm-hmm. and it sat upon each of them. Come on. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost of Jesus. That's what some of the pastors would say, right? Go ahead. And began to speak with other. Oh, let's find out what other tongue was this. Was okay. this something they understood? Or was this... Go ahead. And began to speak with other tongues mm-hmm. as the Spirit gave them utterance. Come on. And there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, uh-huh. devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Out of every nation under heaven, they were Jews. Yeah. They came back to Jerusalem for this feast. Go ahead. Now, when this was done... Was, this I'm was sorry, when this was noised abroad, mm-hmm. the multitude came together mm-hmm. and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. Every man heard them speak in his own language. Okay. In his own language. Go ahead. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, mm-hmm. Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? Aren't all these Jews from Galilee? Aren't they Galileans? What language are they speaking? Come on. And how hear we every man in our own tongue? How we hear every man in our own tongue. Come on. Wherein we were born. Wherein we were born. That's why in verse 5 it said devout men out of every nation. Because you had these Israelites that were born in other places, other nations. But they knew that they were Jews. Read. Parthians. So you had... Parthians and Medes. That's modern day Persia. That's where Iran is from. So you had Jews in Iran, in Persia, and the Medes come back to Jerusalem to worship. What language were they speaking? Possibly Aramaic or Arabic or the Syriac tongue. The Jews, they were prophesying in those languages. Come on. And Elamites. And Elamites. India. As far as India, they came back. To Jerusalem speaking in the in the Elamite the Indian tongue. Okay. Come on. And the dwellers of Mesop- Mesopotamia. That region in Iraq, the Mesopotamia, they had their own language. Guess what? The Jews understood that language 
came back to Jerusalem, was speaking, and there were other people who understood their language because they too were from that region. Come on. And in Judea. And in Judea, Hebrew. Come and, on. And Cappadocia. Cappadocia, Asia Minor. Come on. In Pontus. Uh huh. And Asia. Asia Minor, around the Greece area. Come on. Phrygia. Uh huh. And Pamphylia. Uh huh. In Egypt. Egypt. In Egypt. Africa, Northeast Africa, come on. And in the parts of Libya. Libya. About Cyrene. About Cyrene. Cyrene is a providence in Libya. That's part of Africa, come on. And strangers of Rome. In Rome. You had Israelites coming back to Jerusalem speaking Latin. And there were other people at Jerusalem who understood Latin because they too came from Rome, come on. Jews and proselytes. Uh-huh. Cretes and Arabians. Uh-huh. We do hear them speak in our own tongue and the wonderful works of God. So what are the pastors talking about? Somebody's lying. Hey, can I give you an example? Mm -hmm. I speak Creole, I speak French. Mm -hmm. Let's say I come here. Yeah. And all of a sudden I start speaking Creole and I see you on this in Creole. Or I speak French, I see you on this in French. Mm -hmm. Or I come here, what, what's the name of your language here? Uh, it depends on this tree, there's Fanti, there's, let's say, let's say there's from Hausa. Haiti. Exactly, let's say I'm from Haiti and all of a sudden you speak tree and I start understanding and you shock and be like, wait a minute. I talk from Haiti, how come you understand my language? Okay. And that's what it's talking about. There's a there's a fun <laughs> there's a fundamental so, so issue. It, 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 what they're trying to say is tongues is something when you speak, I can understand. Yes. It's language. You can understand. It's language. You can understand. Yes. yes. All of us in this room can understand. Yes. That's why Paul said Paul said you must have an interpreter. That's what Paul said to have an interpreter. Where's this brother? He speaks tree. Okay. He speaks tree. So I'll be able to say something in English and he could translate to the other brothers in tree and he could communicate to you with the gospel the same in tree. Okay. That's what it's talking about. It's not talking about hot dollar lula, but wham, bam, boom. <laughs> it's not talking about that. Mm, mm, mm. These pastors are crazy. That's why we said yesterday we used the word crazy. A lot of y'all got offended. So what? Repent and stop teaching lies. Right. Interesting. Yes, very interesting. The Bible's an interesting how, book. How do you obtain the Holy Spirit? Tell me, how do you how do you obtain it? Because this, you said you believe in it. Right. And this you, is you, a, you are the full, you know. Uh -huh. This is a fundamental flaw within what, what you call Christianity today. They do not understand the Bible. Okay. Give me John 14. Mm -hmm. Everyone's running around saying, I have the Holy Ghost, I have the Holy Ghost. Isn't that a gift that God bestows on you? Yeah, but there's a way that you get it. There's only one way. It is it is biblically impossible to get the Holy Spirit unless you've done this. Give me John. So 14, I cannot just get it. No. So, it read verse like 15 that. first. Verse okay. 15. John mm -hmm. 14, verse 15. Mm -hmm. If you love me, mm -hmm. keep my commandments. Jesus Christ says, if, that's a stipulation. If you love me, keep my commandments. All them laws that we were talking about yesterday. Yeah. That some folks was like, wow, I've never heard of this. Guess what? You got to keep those laws. A man has to have a beard on his face. A man can't eat what he want to eat. A man has to take care of his family, take care of his his wife. A man has to raise up his household in the laws of God. This is this is biblical. And you need to have all of this all of before you things. get the Holy Spirit. Watch this. It says, "If you love me, keep my commandments." Okay. Jump down to verse twenty-one. Verse I, I hope he's going to list. You're going to list all that you need to do. Yes. Listen. Okay. Verse twenty. When it, keep my commandments is the list. Okay. Read verse 20. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them. That's evidence that you love Jesus. Come okay. on. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, mm -hmm. and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. The Holy Spirit is the manifestation of Jesus Christ and his father in you when you keep his commandments. Now watch this. Read on. He just explained it. Judas saith unto him, not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? So this man Judas, this wasn't Judas Iscariot, this was a different Judah. He mm -hmm. said, how are you going to come to us and not to the rest of the world? Read. Jesus answered and said unto him. He's going to reiterate himself. If a man love me, uh -huh. he will keep my words. He will keep my words. He will keep my commandments. Come on. And my father will love him mm -hmm. and we will come unto him. And make our abode with him. And make our abode with him. Come on. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings. Mm -hmm. And the and the word which ye hear is not mine, 
but the fathers which sent me. The, those that don't love Christ don't keep his commandments. Okay. That's evidence of you keeping, uh, uh, loving Christ is the keeping of the commandments. But read on. These things have I spoken unto you, uh -huh. being yet present with you. Read. But the Comforter, Read. which is the Holy Ghost, Come on. whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. The only way to obtain the Holy Ghost is to keep the commandments. The Comforter is the Spirit of Christ and his Father dwelling in you. So it's for the Holy Spirit, it's for faithful Christians. Yes, for those that follow Christ. Faithful Christians. Period. Israelites, yes. Israelites who follow Christ, mm -hmm. period. You cannot obtain the Holy Spirit okay. unless you repent and keep God's laws. Okay. That's what the churches don't understand. So all that hoop the bam wham the wham that is not of God. It's called muttering. That's all that happened back in the Old Testament. Okay. People were doing that. Have you noticed they do that in the uh what's the Elamite religion called? Oh, Hinduism. 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 They do that in Hinduism. Okay. They do that in Islam. The same thing, but they claim that this is the spirit of God. Okay. Somebody lying. Okay. So um, I, yesterday, briefly, you touched on miracles, and uh, I think at a point in time, you said, "What was that?" That was a rhetorical question. Uh, do miracles happen today? Yes, there's a miracle happening right now. Okay. It's not that kind of miracle. We see on TV the blind is seen, the lame is. When it's, you, not, it's not a type of miracle. Right. But that, just because that's not happening, which we, when we read in Corinthians, it says okay. those things would cease. Whatever the case is, the miracle is now us giving the understanding. You understand in the Bible is a miracle. Okay. Right now, notice we don't have any notes. We're not sitting here with notes. We know this word. Yeah. When you have the understanding, God's going to give you that comforter, the Holy Spirit, so that you're able to go through this Bible the way you were properly meant to go through it okay not like the pastors scripture says rightly dividing the word of truth that right there is a miracle you have brothers that come in this truth they've been in uh, israelite keeping god's commandments for six months running circles around pastors why is that because the holy spirit has given them the understanding is it run, running circles around pastors what does that mean I want meaning clarity. pastors don't understand the bible and this young man who's come in six months has more understanding than this pastor who's been a minister for 20 some odd years okay that's the running of circles. Okay. Because your 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 belief or your systems is for individuals to know the Bible. Absolutely. What, what, you and have to, apply, to know the word and apply, apply the, the scriptures. Yes. Okay. Know and apply it. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Um, mm. uh, another issue that perhaps I was asked was the subject of Antichrist. Mm -hmm. AD. You should do uh, Isaiah eight twenty also. Okay. So the subject of Antichrist. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to read the scripture real quick, and then we're going to. What go was the that position subject. of? Um, well, we spoke about Israel that. United and yeah, we in, spoke in about that yesterday. But I see where you're coming because uh, in the Christian church, you keep they saying, say, you keep saying, you see, where I, no, these you say, are reactions yeah, that I I'm bringing when I say, when I say you, I'm talking to the listeners okay, as well, not okay. you per se. Okay, okay. Uh, because they use the word Antichrist as is in a singular form. Okay. We're going to explain that. Uh, first, let's get Isaiah 8 and 20. We want um, verse 20. It says, To the law and to the testimony, uh -huh. if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Period. This is point blank. If they don't speak according to the laws of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ, yeah. there is no light in them. All right? All praise to the Most High. Okay, so now you have Matthew chapter 24, because Christ warned us about the Antichrist. So okay. Jesus talked about the Antichrist in Matthew 24, verse 4. He said, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many, for many, plural, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. many. So okay. he's not talking about, the Antichrist is not one person. That's why he said many. Okay. Yesterday we bring this right here, this man right here. Now, this is part of the Antichrist. Okay. Because um, the, and the reason I um, we bring this, if uh, if you go to Facebook, um, uh, the team, Michael Walia, uh, look for this picture and put it on Facebook so that those uh -huh. who are on um, Facebook watching would know who they are speaking about. Uh, the picture or the imagery of Jesus Christ, 
uh, that's what they are showing me as the Antichrist. So perhaps if you are uh, watching us on Facebook, uh, you can go there and have a look at the pictures that uh, they brought into the studios today. Uh, today uh, yesterday it was here. Our, our, our WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, sorry, was not quite active, but today it's active. So if you're on Facebook, Ultimate, uh, if you go to uh, look for Ultimate 106.9 FM, uh, look for us and follow the discussion. It's live on uh, Facebook as well. Um, yesterday, those who uh, okay, wanted to see them and see how they were dressed, oh, they are dressed simply, like just like you and I. And so there's nothing extraordinary. But you can go to Facebook and uh, kind of get a glimpse of uh, the picture we are talking about, the imagery uh, of what is seen as Jesus Christ. Yes, that is uh, the picture they are saying is the Antichrist. Yes. Yes. And so, his people. And, and his people. people. Yes. So he's not just one person. Yes. So it's now on. So you can go to Facebook and check it out. Uh, Antichrist uh, has put them. That is the imagery uh, put out there of the Antichrist. So you can go there and, and take a look at it. It's on our Facebook page, Ultimate 106.9 FM. You would find it there. Lots of people are there putting quote. Um, John John fourteen twenty six the comfort the Holy Spirit okay Isaiah eight twenty Matthew twenty I'm trying to see if I can read because I don't know why you're putting those quotations there so I get a reaction to mm -hmm. all those uh, 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 quotes you put there as one of the verses you put yes, there sir. Yes, yeah sir. yeah so you explain the Antichrist okay go ahead. first John this is first John chapter uh, you explain Matthew twenty four already yeah. no 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 go ahead where we always explain Matthew twenty four okay first ahead, John chapter two verse eighteen okay little children. It is the last time, and as ye have heard, that that Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists. So Christ warning us, Paul warning us right here, he said, the Antichrist shall come, and it's already here. Okay. Many, and he said many shall come. So he's not talking about one. So you know why he said many? There's going to be a lot of religion out here. A lot of many, many religion. Okay. And they are the Antichrist. Because guess what? Because they don't, they're not teaching the Bible. They don't believe the Bible. They don't believe Jesus is a black man. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe Jesus is a black man, you're an Antichrist. Mm -hmm. okay. Catholic Church don't believe Jesus Christ is a black man. Those churches don't believe Jesus Christ is a black man. Read. This is First John chapter 4, verse 1. Okay. Be Beloved, believe not every spirit. Believe not every spirit. But try the spirits, whether they are of God. Try the spirit. How you try the spirit? Are they coming from the Bible? Had it coming from the Bible. If because yesterday you got many callers here. Uh -huh. None of, nobody bring no scriptures. But you know this every question they ask us, we go straight to the Bible. That's how you try spirit. Well, maybe the, that the, our the didn't that, allow them to bring because they were asking questions. But this is the thing, yeah. brother. God don't care about my opinion, the pastor's opinion, or nobody's opinion. Okay. The Bible says let God let 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 God be true, every man a liar. If you're not coming from the Bible, do not believe it. Because okay. a lot of these pastors, you know what they do? They take one scripture, they run their mouth for three hours. And everybody sitting there, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If he's not coming from the Bible, do not believe him. It's his opinion. Nobody want to hear the pastor eating pork chop. Nobody want to hear that crap. The pastor, the pastor was in a million dollar house. This, nobody, listen, teach the Bible. Okay. That's how you try the spirit. Read. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Uh -huh. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. If you confess Jesus Christ died in the cross in the flesh, because what church are today? Church today say Jesus is a spirit. Mary didn't have sex. Uh, a, 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 a spirit come out of nowhere, get her pregnant. That's Antichrist. That's not in the Bible. Really? Yes, that's the Antichrist. That's not in the Bible. Really? Jesus Christ come in the flesh. Uh, Joseph had sex with Mary. Mary born Jesus Christ. Yes. Really? Yes. Read. So, so Antichrist. No, no, we'll, we'll, we'll go on. You, the you, Catholic you, Church is Antichrist. Yes, I said it. Read. Verse 3. Okay. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. Is not of God. Read. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. This is what? This is that spirit of Antichrist. Yes, what? Didn't you say yesterday you got 1.5 billion uh, Catholic? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They are Antichrist. That's why he said many. Mm, okay. The Christian church today, Antichrist. Islam. And uh, uh, Antichrist. Be why? Because they don't believe that's a black messiah. They don't believe the Bible. They don't believe that we are. They don't believe. They why don't believe we are the Israelite. Guess what? If you don't believe we are the Israelite, you are the Antichrist. Because we are the Israelite. Those white people over there who call themselves Jewish, no, they are not the Israelite. They are the devil the Bible speak of. If you and if you and the if you and if you listening right now, you don't believe Jesus Christ is a black man. You are the Antichrist, my friend. Yes, 
I'm point, I'm talking to you. I'm looking at death through the camera. I'm talking to you. You, you, you are the Antichrist. That's what the Bible said. Whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. You hear that? Uh -huh. Jesus said the Antichrist is already here. It's already here. Because okay. that's why they keep pushing this on you. Those are the Antichrist. That's the Antichrist we on people. The white image. Antichrist. Yes, that's the Antichrist. Now mm. go to uh Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter eleven, verse four. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, this is another Jesus. Uh -huh. This Jesus is not biblical. I'm going to say it again here in Ghana. This Jesus is not in the Bible. They are pushing a white man Jesus on you where nobody in Ghana ever asked a pastor, ever asked uh, 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 the priest in this Catholic church, show me in the Bible where Jesus is white. You know what I going to tell you? It doesn't matter. If it doesn't matter, why they pick a white Jesus? Okay. Well, if it doesn't uh, matter. Let me read a portion of the Bible, the, 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 the story, the nativity. Uh, the best story of jesus of which uh is becoming basically came up today is coming up again uh the gospel of matthew uh mary the mother of jesus was betrothed to joseph but was found to be pregnant through the holy spirit uh joseph intended to divorce her quietly but an angel told him in a dream that he should take mary as his wife and name the child jesus uh this would fulfill the prophecy of a virgin birth mm -hmm. where the son would be known as Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. Mm -hmm. Joseph awoke and did all that the angel commanded. Mm -hmm. uh, the infancy gospel is part of the uh, Matthian prologue mm -hmm. in um, one, Matthew 1, verse 1, Matthew chapter 1, verse 1 to 4 through to 16, the main section 118. 14 jesus is introduced uh, as the son of uh, david and all of that well, well, hmm. okay so how should people interpret this okay well uh, you got to go precept because precept. you talked about you believe in the holy spirit yes now the book of matthew mm -hmm. talks about how the holy ghost, the holy ghost mm -hmm. appeared mm -hmm. to mary mm -hmm. and also appeared in a dream the angel to, well the holy ghost to, appear to, to mary to, the angel appeared the angel appeared yeah. mm -hmm. but he was going to conceive through the holy spirit yeah yes now remember what i said about the holy ghost were words in prophecy that came to pass yeah that's part of the holy ghost yeah all right in a nutshell the word of god which equals the law of god yeah it was said a four time and then it happened that's the holy ghost right yeah so christ was prophesied in the old testament yeah to be born through Mary, and that's what happened. Now, when it says before, this is where people get tripped up, before they came together, the customs of the Israelites was this. There was no boyfriend and girlfriend. There was no, everything was prearranged. You have a daughter, he has a son. You promise your daughter to his son when they reach the age of marriage to get together, uh -huh. even if it's not known to your daughter or his son. Yeah. So in this situation, after after uh, the, the, the arranged marriage or the arrangel, I should say, they grow older, they come together, they get paperwork for their marriage, they have a wedding feast. After the wedding feast, you go into what's called the wedding chain the wedding chamber and you consummate the marriage through sex. That was always our custom. Mary and Joseph, they jumped the gun. What I mean by jump the gun? They skipped all of that and had sex. That's why Joseph, it says he didn't want to make a public example of her because after you have sex in the wedding chamber, you take the sheet, the bloody sheet, you bring it out and you present it to the father and the elders in the gate to prove that that girl was a virgin. Was a virgin. So if Joseph and Mary were already having sex, he already broke her hymen. There would be no proof of that. That's what this passage is talking about. That's what it's going into. The angel said, look. It was, it was already prophesied. It was already prophesied that you two was going to be together and then she was going to bring forth the Messiah. Don't put her away. Don't try to hide her. It's okay. Just go ahead. That's what the, it's going the, into. The, the putting her away, what, was it not the issue where pa, by, she said she was pregnant by the Holy Ghost? So but, but that's he, what, he, he wanted to... That's what I just told you about the Holy Ghost. Yes. The Holy Ghost meaning 
it was already prophesied to happen. Yes, so th mm. that is what, what you are believing mm. in. That's what the Bible says, yes. Yeah. And what, what you are believing in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm fast forwarding to mm. what it says mm. when the angel appeared mm. and communicated to Mary. Mm -hmm. What well, transpired? Well, that's what, that's what I just explained to you. Now, for us to go into this thoroughly, we would definitely need more time because we'd have to go through Matthew, through Luke, Luke. And then we would have to go to the El the Old Testaments to show you how we did our marriages. So that's why I'm trying to give it to you the brief way. Okay. I'm trying to give you and, the and brief way. And let's just skip that. into the gospel. Yes. I'm trying to give you the Matthew, brief, Mark, you know, Luke, the, and John. The brief understanding. Okay. I'm trying to give you basically a summary of what truly took place so our brothers and sisters could understand. Also, just to jump the gun, when you do the research, um, immaculate conception as they call it yeah. immaculate deception slash divine <laughs> incarnation that was created by the so-called white man look it up that was created by the pope that was created by the pope none of our forefathers none of our forefathers prior to pagan christianity believed in a virgin birth right all right, and there's different definitions to the word virgin. That's what I said. It would take an extensive time. The word virgin can be can mean a young wo young woman of marital age, and can also mean now a woman that never laid with man. I'm gonna repeat that again: a young woman of marital age, and also a woman who never laid with man. Okay. So, like I said, go and do the research yourself. You'll find out that this is. All pagan beliefs that a woman can bring forth a child without sex. The the um, original Egyptians they believed the same thing. Okay, with um, Isis and uh, mm -hmm. and whatever they call them, Horus and Isis. Okay, it's all lies. It's all white man lies. And on top of that, this is what we we're talking about with fundamental teachings that the Christian Church lacks. What tribe was Jesus Christ from? Get Hebrews seven. Mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 7. Read verse 14. Verse 14. Mm -hmm. uh, for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. How can a person, or how could Jesus Christ be from the tribe of Judah? His father would have to be from the tribe of Judah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You come, your lineage, your lineage is determined by your father. Mm -hmm. If your father is not a Jew or not from the tribe of Judah, you cannot claim Judah, which was a man. He was a man who, 12 tribes of Israel, mm -hmm. Judah was one of those sons. Mm -hmm. Through his sons, they make up the tribe of Judah. How could Jesus be a Jew if his father wasn't a Jew? These are fundamental elements that the, the so-called church lacks. because they And they have allowed, which you just brought out, a, a, a Roman pagan doctrine mm -hmm. to now overshadow so, the so, Bible. So, so if, if, if I read the entirety of uh, Matthew one eighteen, mm -hmm. and it gives me several positions, chronology of events about mm -hmm. the birth of Christ, and what you're saying, it's, it's quite confusing. Yes, it is going to be confusing because none of these people it's quite confusing none of these people are keeping the commandments like deacon brought out in order to receive the holy ghost and receive this understanding you got to be keeping the commandments so Let me read that. that's the interpretation of the bible <laughs> does it work hold on with hold the on. holy spirit or it works with it hold only on. works with the holy spirit so is the holy spirit so if you if you if you i'll give you an example if you're yeah. keeping christmas christmas you're eating bush meat you believe in white jesus you believe in a, in a rock called a cobblestone. You're shaving your beard. You believe everything the white man says. You're not going to understand the Bible because you are reading the Bible with white man eyes. Okay. Right? It's impossible. It. This is Psalm chapter 111 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of God is keeping his commandments. Because you know if you don't keep his commandments, there's going to be consequences behind that. The fear of the Lord, the yeah. keeping of the commandments is what? Is is the beginning of wisdom. The beginning of wisdom. The beginning of wisdom is keeping God's commandments. Wisdom okay. is going to allow you to understand the Bible. Wisdom is going to allow you to understand the prophecies, the testimonies, the laws of God. Read. A good understanding. A, you want a good understanding, brothers and sisters of Ghana? Have all they that do his commandments. Not talk about his commandments. Do 
do his commandments. That's self-explanatory. A third yeah, grader can understand that. Uh, somebody has asked me to read the full passage that I was reading. Um, now, the birth of Jesus Christ was um, on this wise. When us, a mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph before they came together, she was found with a child of the, uh, of the Holy Spirit. Now, the birth of Jesus Christ took place under these circumstances when his mother Mary had been promised in marriage to Joseph before they came together. She was found to be pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. of which uh, my team here are disproving that. Uh, then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, uh, was minded to put her away, that is, divorce, or let her go. And her promised husband, Joseph, being a just and upright man and not willing to expose her publicly and to shame and disgrace her, decided to repudiate and dismiss, divorce her quietly and secretly. Uh, Matthew one twenty. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit spirits of which uh, my team here says joseph had sex with mary but as he was thinking this over behold an angel of the lord appeared to him in a dream saying joseph descendant of david do not be afraid to take mary as your wife for which is conceived in her is off from out of the holy spirits and she shall bring forth a son thou shalt call his name jesus for he shall save his people from their sins she will bear a son and you shall call his name jesus at the greek form of the hebrew joshua which means savior for he will save his people from their sins that is prevent them from failing and missing the true end and scope of life which is god now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the lord by the prophet saying all this took place that it might be fulfilled which the lord had spoken through the prophet behold a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name emmanuel which being interpreted as god with us behold the virgin shall become pregnant and give birth to a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel which when translated means God is with us then Joseph uh, being raised from sleep did as the angel of the Lord uh, bidden him and took unto him his wife then Joseph being arose from his sleep did as the angel uh, of the Lord had commanded him uh, sorry commanded him mm. uh, he took her to his side as his wife um, and knew her not till she had brought forth her first son and he called his name Jesus but he had no union with her as a husband until she had born her first son and he called his name Jesus so, okay well we just we just so, explained so, all of yeah, that yeah yeah but yeah, yeah, yeah 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 but mm -hmm. but but it also says mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there was no sexual activity no it doesn't you don't understand it what is yeah, that? We just told you. It. If you're not giving okay. the commands, how are you going to understand? You're, gonna, you don't understand. you're not going to understand. Let me tell, it. Can I say something? Let me tell so, you. So what I read is what? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Because you know what it, the it only means? says. Or, mm -hmm. You don't understand it. You know what okay. the problem means? You ever heard of the Council of Churches? You ever heard of theologian school? Mm -hmm. The problem is today. This is what happened. When you look at the pastors of this church today, where they, where they learn their doctrine from, they learn it okay. from theologian school this theologian school who said this who said this theologian school up this man right here he's the one who said this theologian school the okay. white man set churches all over the earth to teach our people lies they said this theologian school every single pastor here in canada i mean in ghana i mean i said canada in ghana <laughs> yeah i guarantee you they went where they went to theologian school. that's what some of them call themselves doctor this doctor this doctor that. you know you see us yeah. we don't go to theologian school we don't go to the white man's school to learn the Bible. 
this Bible was uh, taught to us by the Spirit of Christ. Okay. That's what this Bible was taught to us. That's that's why you just read a whole chapter, but you don't understand nothing he said. Okay. You just read it for word forward, you don't understand nothing he said. The Bible so said. I, 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 so I shouldn't, said, I, I shouldn't make meaning word The Bible for said word. in the book of um, what is that proverb? With all you with all your knowledge, get understanding. With all your knowledge, get understanding. Don't just read it. The Bible says you gotta read it precept upon precept. Okay. Lie upon lie. What you just did is you just read a whole chapter yeah. and you just said, oh, that's what he said. No, that's not what he no, said. No, I'm, I'm asking you a have, question. You have because to have it the says, of what it you says, It says, but what I read, it says there was no sexual activity between Joseph and Mary, at least for the first when, born child, when, which no, is no, Jesus. No, it didn't say that. It said, oh. it, said, it, said, it, said, it said Joseph did not know her until the child is born, meaning Joseph didn't have sex with her. But it talks about the Holy Spirit conceiving through the Holy hold, Spirit. Hold, what's that word you use? Conceiving through the Holy what Spirit. What does conceive mean? No, 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 no. You understand what, I, what okay, I'm saying. So let me show you this. We want so the Holy Spirit... Let me get hold scripture. On, let me get on, scripture. I want Hebrews 2.17, and then I want Leviticus 12, verse 2. Okay. So Hebrews while, while, you're, while you're getting 17. that, uh, Petro Nabil says, good morning to you. Mm -hmm. um, enjoying the show. I'm learning deep things. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you uh, for organizing this uh, wonderful program. Mm -hmm. It should not always be politics. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Well, all praises. Mm -hmm. all praises. Let's read the scripture. Come Hebrews on. chapter 2, verse 17. Mm -hmm. Wherefore in all things. We're in what? In all things. Some things. All things. All things but sex. All things uh -huh. it behooved him uh -huh. to be made like unto his brethren. To be made like unto his brethren. How were his brethren made? Through sex mm -hmm. in the flesh. Sex reproduces flesh. Go ahead. That he might be a merciful and faithful high priest uh -huh. in things pertaining to God. Uh -huh. And uh, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. Now let's go to Leviticus 12 and 2. Because he said it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. How was his brethren made? How was his brethren made? Because it said Joseph knew Mary not again until Jesus came forth. Because Jesus had brothers and sisters. How were his brothers and sisters born? Through sex. Watch this. Leviticus. Because you read conceived. Let's see what that word means. Because the same word conceived, it has the same definition here in Ghana. It has the same definition in Sierra Leone. It has the same definition in New York and Texas. Go ahead. Leviticus chapter 12 verse 2. Come on. Speak unto the children of Israel, mm -hmm. saying, If a woman hath conceived seed. Oh, wait. If a woman has conceived what? Conceived seed. As soon as the sperm, the sperm is called the seed. That's why God promised David through his seed, the Messiah shall come. What tribe is David? Judah. That's right. That's Christ right. came from Judah. It says, when a woman shall conceive sperm, you know the that goes everywhere when a woman shall conceive sperm come on come on and born a man child and born a man child that's what mary and joseph did we read it the host read it he used the word conceived when joseph uh, uh, uh ejaculated inside of mary she conceived seed not conceived the spirit, a smoke, a puff of air. She conceived. Hold so, on. So, so she, wait, 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 hold on. We got to let it ride. Mm. Conceive seed. Go ahead. And born a man child. Born a man child. Come on. Then shall she be unclean seven days. That's her days of her unpurification. Conceived means seed. Stop letting the white man lie to you. Right. Stop going to his cemetery schools, also known as theology schools. Wake up. Wake mm. up. Wake up. And on top of that, you got thrown off where it says new. You don't know. Our yeah. people don't know the definition. Says he, and he knew her not until she brought forth her firstborn. Meaning he didn't have sex with her again until Christ was born. Watch this. Give me uh, Genesis 4, mm -hmm. verse 25. This is the book of Genesis 4, verse 25. That's Come on. The Bible says precept upon precept. Precept yep. upon precept. Genesis 4. Four, verse 25 really? okay and adam knew his wife again he knew his wife again what okay. does that mean he had sex with his wife again so what you read in matthews one yeah. is just saying while she was pregnant he didn't have sex with her okay we have to approach the bible with common sense 
Again, we just established. So Joseph, it, hold on, hold on, because you read it Abby, slow. Abby, wait, Abby, wait, Abby, wait. Abby, you read it slow. I mean, I, I just, I just want, Matthews yes. one. I, I want to come back to you. You didn't read it slow, and it says Joseph was. I just, I, I just want you to help me understand. So uh -huh. the portion where it talks about Mary was conceived by the Holy Spirit. How do I interpret it? What it says, conceived, conceived. What was in so, her? So, Jesus, uh, hold on. Jesus Christ is the Holy Spirit. What part of that are we to understand? It was prophesied in the Old Testament that Christ would come about. Let's get it in Isaiah for him if he doesn't understand. But it's okay. Well, we uh, love you. We're going to make you understand. It's Where good. Is it in it, it's good. We're it's here good. to help you out, Ghana. It, yeah, it, we it's love good. you. We love This is passion. This is not us being uh, hateful or upset. This is passion. We were destroyed for knowledge at one point, just like you are. Okay? We just got to repent and shake okay. it. Uh, nah, Israel united in Christ. Uh, you're still here. I've got uh, two deacons uh, in the studios, and we're looking at uh, the subject matter. Uh, we'll be getting to the John 3, uh, 16 uh, bit to get further and better understanding to the issues. But obviously, we'll also get into other areas. And uh, uh, Captain has been uh, explaining some few things uh, here with the Holy Spirit, uh, the birth of Jesus, and all of that. But we'll be getting to the uh the john 3 16 bit uh, right after yes, sir, uh, yes, uh, this sir. so that we can have time as well i want to read a prophecy that was fulfilled by the holy ghost meaning mm -hmm. it was said aforetime and through the spirit of god it came to pass okay because it's law and it's his word okay. isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 therefore the lord himself shall give you a sign Behold, a virgin shall conceive. A virgin shall conceive. A woman, a young woman of marital age would conceive. She's going to get pregnant. But y'all let the church tell you that means no. She's going to give birth. <laughs> to conceive means what? Is again, fundamentals of just reading. Just yeah. reading. To con you know but, how many but, women conceive today? Every last woman that gets pregnant conceives. <laughs> but you thought you saw something else because you got the white man in the back mm -hmm. of your head telling you, no, no, a virgin's going to give birth. It says a virgin shall conceive. Go ahead. And bear a son uh -huh. and shall call his name Emmanuel. Which means God's with us. You've been you've been deluded by the white man. The white man it, has it, given it, you a delusion. Is it, is it about the workings of the Holy Ghost, as you say, because... The Holy Ghost is that powerful. It can do what it wants to do. Yes. And as I said, we should always request the will of God mm -hmm. to happen. Is the will of God happening through a virgin, someone who has not broken the hymen, who has not had sexual intercourse? Well, he just said, we just said that the virgin is a young woman of marriage. That is age. your interpretation. Oh, no, that's, that's the, the biblical the definition. That's the biblical definition of, biblical. of that's being biblical. a virgin. Do we have the Bible dictionary? <laughs> That's biblical. We have the Bible dictionary. <laughs> That's not a petition. So, we if, the Bible. If, if I go to other dictionaries and I get the understanding, the white man's dictionary. Okay, so I shouldn't go to. Day. I shouldn't. I shouldn't go to that. The modern day dictionaries have <laughs> different <laughs> definitions of virgin. Well, well if, reading the Bible, so well, you gotta go to if, the biblical if, dictionary. If, if you're tuning, you said something about the clear soap. I gotta. I gotta address that. <laughs> Proverbs three thirty one. I'll read it, deacons. You can break it down. Envy thou not. The oppressor mm. and choose none of his ways. You hear what the Bible said? Envy, do not envy your oppressor. Who are I talking about? This is your oppressor right here. This listen. Okay. Do you know? Do you know? By God, God is a black man, right? You have the color of God. You have the same skin color of God. Okay. You hate yourself so much. Now you want to be clear. You want to be light like the white man. You know that's that's a destroy mindset. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible said, until we are destroyed in Deuteronomy, mm -hmm. that show us we here in Ghana, we are a destroyed people. Because you're beautiful. Black is beautiful. Afro, when you got your Afro hair, that's beautiful. I see so many wig in Ghana, it make my head spin. It's a pandemic. It's a pandemic here. Okay, wait. And guess what? It's not only in Ghana, by the way. Okay. America, the same thing. Haiti, the same thing. It's a global phenomenon. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a global effect. That's showing you how the white men deceive the whole world. With what? With this? Right here, right here. With this? That's what you want your hair to look they, like. Yeah, that's what you want your hair. The, the black woman hid herself so much, she want, she want the white woman hairstyle. Guess what? When the black woman supposed to be the style of the earth. The, the Bible says we are the flavor of the earth. 
We are the light of the earth. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to want to be like you. Now you want to be like them. Mm -hmm. Now you want to bleach your skin. And by the way, you see those things you guys using? Those things got chemical on them. Yeah. Those things make effect. That is why you see some of these women, they can't even walk in the sun. Why you think is that? Because this affect their skin. Okay. That's there's chemical on those things. Mm -hmm. And eventually those things gonna destroy those things gonna destroy your skin. Okay. Your guys got natural skin look like oh, just boy, like boy. God, mm -hmm. just like his son Jesus Christ. Okay. You are beautiful. Black is beautiful. You should be proud to be black. You should be proud to have kinky hair. Because you have the same hair, woolly hair, like God Himself. You have the the same hair like Jesus Himself, not like this devil. Stop being like trying to act like the white woman. Okay, you are black and beautiful. Yenai Benaya Judah uh, says, Mr. Host, uh, know that if the Christian church can lie about Christ's image and give you Christmas, Easter, and so forth, then every Christianity church is a lie, starting from the Catholic church. Please uh, read this. Mm. Shalom. And notice what the deacon said. He mentioned the wigs, which is a which is a global pandemic. Everywhere you go, the black woman has a hair hat on her head, right? Who produces that? Who owns the largest manufacturing companies, all these stores? The Chinese. They're yeah. in charge of that industry. Yeah, now sure. you have white people in charge of the bleaching in industry. And he mentioned the, uh, the chemicals that are in it that are affecting our people. They're okay. getting rich off of our uh -huh. low self-esteem. Watch yes. this. Job chapter 41, verse 6. Shall the companions make a banquet of him? Shall the companions make a banquet of us? Come on. They Shall they part him among the merchants? Shall they part us among the merchants? All of them are taking part in our demise. Okay. All of them are getting rich off of us. You have the wig. Now you have the bleaching cream. You have the brothers in the States wearing their pants under their butt. All of these nations are getting rich off of our stupidity and our lack of self-esteem. The Bible has that documented. We got to come out of that. We got to come out the of that. Repent. Yes, we got to repent come out of that thing. Well, uh, different version of cup of tea. Um, I've got in the studio, they can have a, um, they can Malachi and also Captain Isaac. They are from the Israel United in Christ um, they're helping us understand a few things in the Bible but we're getting to the John 3 16 uh, subject and it says for God so loved the world that he gave his only uh, his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life Wow! Ooh. is it easy to understand is this easy to understand or no <laughs> it's not because you're reading it verbatim, you're taking it off face value, and once again, you're reading the Bible with white man lies. Okay. Uh, let's start from the beginning. I'll read it. Start at verse 1. And the deacons will yes, start um, at, Please, start at verse 1. Okay. Okay, this is... Let me just bring verse 1, I'm going to pass it to you. Verse 1. Let's read okay. verse 1. Okay. John chapter 3, verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus... First of all, Nicodemus was an Israelite. He was a Pharisee. That may come in Israelite. Okay. Read. A ruler of the Jews. He was one of the teachers of the Jews. That's why I say a ruler. He was one of the top teachers of the Jews. Read. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. The, For the, reason, the reason he come by night is because of the other Pharisees. Because he was afraid. If, remember, the other Pharisees didn't believe in Christ. So okay. he was afraid they might throw him out of the synagogue. So he come at night where nobody can see him come talk to Christ. Okay. Read. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. That's the proof that he believed in Christ. Because he said nobody can do what you do. So he believed Christ is actually the black Messiah to come. That's why he believed. Read. Jesus answered and said unto him. Now, now, keep in mind, what you're reading in John chapter 3 is a conversation between two Jews. To Israelite. Christ is an Israelite. Nicodemus is an Israelite. Just like me and you talking right now in this studio. Okay. We have a conversation. Christ is having a conversation with this man. He's a Pharisee. That's two Israelite talking. Keep that in mind. Keep that. As you go on to John 3 16, it's two men talking. Read. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So Jesus said to Nicodemus, 
Except you repent, you born again. Remember the scripture said, when you repent, you become a new creature. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. Except you born again, you cannot see the kingdom. Yeah. With the, the kingdom to come, you cannot see it. Read again. It's a conversation between two Israelites. Read. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and Surely be born? Surely he didn't did, did say what Christ was talking about, right? But keep, keep in mind, this man was a teacher of the law. He was one of the top. He's a Pharisee. He's supposed to know this, but he did not know. We Jesus, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That... Okay. Nope, let Deacon take over. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted to bring up. So, Deacon, go ahead. Let's, again, let's get some fundamentals. <laughs> Read John 3, 16. John 3, verse 16. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world uh -huh. that he gave his only begotten Son... That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Who's speaking right here? Jesus Christ, right? Uh -huh. Stay here. Give me Matthew's 15. Tell me if this is the same Jesus. Matthew's 15. Start at verse 21. Matthew 15, right? Mm -hmm. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 21. Verse 21. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Zidon. Mm -hmm. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast. A Kenyanite woman came out of this coast, right? Was she an Israelite? No. No, she was a Kenyanite. Go ahead. And cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. Mm -hmm. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. She came to Jesus Christ and cried to him, Lord, have mercy on me. My daughter got the devil on her, right? Yeah. Read on. But he answered her not a word. He answered her not a word. Read on. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after the us. The disciples said, Lord, send this woman away. She's crying on us too. Read. But he answered and said, Read. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Wait a minute. Can Jesus lie? Can Jesus Christ tell a lie? No, he can't. Okay. He told you who he was sent for. He says, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yeah. Matter of fact, read on. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, uh -huh. It is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it to death. Dogs. Who are dogs, according to Jesus Christ? Who are dogs? This woman was a Kenyanite. She was not an Israelite. Now, this is the part. This is the part of Jesus that the church doesn't want to accept. Okay. They cherry pick scriptures and then they go to John three sixteen, not knowing John three sixteen is a repeated verse. It was already written, but you didn't understand because your your pastors don't teach you the Bible. Go back to John three sixteen. John three. Chapter 16. Let's see where Christ is, 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 is getting this from. For God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he gave his only begotten son, Read. that whosoever believeth in him sh should not perish, but have everlasting life. When did God ever love the whole world? He told the Israelites when they were to go into the land, remember when they went into the land of Canaan? He said, kill everyone and leave no one alive. Is this the same God that for so loved the world? He told them, utterly destroy the young, the old, the, the men, the women, kill everyone and leave no one alive. Is this the same God that loves the whole world? Isaiah 45, 17. So you understand what world he's talking about. Okay. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45. Mm -hmm. and Which is a direct quote of, this is what Jesus Christ was quoting when he spoke, which you heard in John three sixteen. Is it Isaiah 45? 45, yes, yes, verse 17. Mm-hmm. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord uh -huh. with an everlasting salvation. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall have what? Eternal life. Everlasting salvation. Read. Ye shall not be ashamed uh -huh. nor confounded. It says, ye Israel shall not be an ashamed nor confounded. Read. World. 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 Oh. World. Without and who is the world that it's speaking of in John 3.16? John 3.16 is a quote of Isaiah 45. Let's go to the same book. Get John 17. John 17 and read verse 9. Same book. Let's see if 
for God so loved the world. Right? John 17 and 9. John chapter 17 and verse 9. Read. I pray for them. Uh -huh. I pray not for the world. Who's speaking? Jesus Christ. He says, I pray for them. I don't pray for the world. Read. Okay. But for them which thou hast given me. But for them which thou hast given me. You have to understand the distinction of who it's talking about. So when you read in John 3.16, the quote is from Isaiah 45 and 17. That's the world that for God for so loved. You got that? John 18 verse 20. Read. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. The world. Who was the world? I ever taught in the synagogue. Was the whole world in the synagogues, bro? No. Who was in the synagogue? So, I bet you, I want you, you've read several passages in the mm -hmm. Bible uh, trying to bring meaning to John 3.16. Absolutely. And deflecting us to other areas to spot in the Bible to help us appreciate what is being done. It's called precept upon precept to understand the Bible. Okay. So, perhaps, correct me if I'm wrong, how I understand where you're going. There's a chosen people Absolutely. that God was speaking to. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So it's not everybody. No. No. It's never been everybody. Never been. The white man told you it's everybody. He made our constitution called the Bible a, a universal book. Mm -hmm. It's not a universal book. So it's not a book for everybody. No. no. It's a composition of records that was for the Israelites, to the Israelites, by the Israelites. So for someone who is going in and out of the verses you've given Isaiah 45 17 coming back mm -hmm. to John 3 16 and perhaps reading the whole passage that begins with a conversation with the Pharisees right. and talks about other things uh -huh. and as you read the, on from the, the beginning that's yeah. why the deacon went to the beginning to show you yeah this is a, a, a conversation a, between Israelites yeah when you go on down if you ever ask anybody everyone will quote off the top of their head John 3 16 yeah but ask them what John 3 14 is talking about the actual context of John 3.16. See, we, we don't have enough time to go through everything with you. We just That's why we're giving you little key points. Okay. But when you start at John 3 and go all the way down, he goes through the history of how the Israelites was taking out, taken out of Egypt and dwelt in the wilderness. And there you see serpents. The Lord sent serpents because of their disobedience. The serpents to them. And what did they have to do so that they would survive those bites from them snakes? They had to look upon the staff that God told Moses to make of the serpent yeah and it says whosoever believed that if they looked upon that staff they wouldn't die it's the same analogy he's giving to israel because that's who he was talking to in john three sixteen. but the church doesn't read the context mm. they cherry pick they say let's just take this part see everyone everyone we just read where christ called that woman a dog because she wasn't an israelite yeah he said that i am only sent for the lost sheep of the house of israel he can't lie so so it's God's people against the devil's people. Exactly. It, it, that's the conversation. You just sum, you just summarized the Bible. <laughs> so, in the <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> you made it. Well, Give me uh, three James. Hold on, I got another example for it, you. It's good you're going to James because uh, I bet you it's good you're going to James because somebody sends a message. Good morning, Julius. Uh -huh. Hope you are well. Well, I'm doing well. Yeah. <laughs> Ask your panelists to read James 1.15. Lust is said to conceive. Does that suggest sexual intercourse in fleshly way? It is not uncommon to use the same term in Mary's case. Therefore, what the Bible says is true. Mary's conception was by the Spirit. Peace. Okay. Let's read James 1 and 1. Okay. Drop this? <laughs> yeah, drop that. All right. I, don't, I didn't understand well, what, he, what, he, what that was. But. Well, uh, I think it was in relation to the conceived yeah. word best. We already and destroyed that document. <laughs> <laughs> Give me James 1 and 1. And James, you tell me who this is addressed to. James chapter 1 and verse 1. Okay. Uh -huh. James, a servant of God mm -hmm. and of the Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. Who is this addressed to? We started the book of James, chapter 1, verse 1. Who is this addressed to? It says to Wait, the, let me read, let me read, it, read it again. James, a servant of God. James, a servant of God. Mm -hmm. And of the Lord Jesus Christ. And of the Lord Jesus Christ. To the 12 tribes. To the 12 tribes. Which are scattered abroad. Okay. Greeting. So, all of the Gentile churches, everyone who's calling themselves Gentiles, no longer read the book of James. Because James addressed this book, this letter, to the 12 tribes. That's who he's writing to, right? 
What you're going to find out, it's the whole Bible. Okay. They took our word and they made it theirs. Mm -hmm. You have children? Yeah. Okay. Let's say you leave the house and you put a note on your refrigerator and you're giving your children chores to do. Make sure the dishes are done. Make sure you sweep. Make sure you do this. Have your behinds in this house before the sun goes down. Who are you talking to? My kids. Are you talking to the whole world? No. This book is a letter to us from God. And they've stolen it and said, look, I got to do the dishes because he said do the dishes. I got to be in the house when he said be in the house. Not realizing you wrote this to your children and only your children. Mm. That's the Bible. When you read Amos, the third chapter, it tells you because of our iniquities, God is punishing us. We are the Israelites. Everything that we're facing today is because we're the children of Israel and we're not keeping God's commandments. Notice everybody fights against the laws. It, it's easy to say, oh, I believe, I believe. But what are you going to do now? Read that. Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Read. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel. Uh-huh against the whole family which i brought up from the land of egypt saying uh -huh. you only have you only israel have i known he didn't know anybody else okay. of all the families of the earth mm -hmm. therefore i will punish you for all your iniquity he said out of all the families of the earth israel is the only one known but we didn't learn that in church joel 227 we didn't learn that in church because society dictates what you believe in church when society said homosexuality is okay, the church said, okay, because you're being socially controlled through those, through the people that don't even believe in the Bible. Give me that. Joel 2.27. Tell me if you've ever read this before. Read. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. This is God. That I, you sh you're going to know that I'm in the midst of Israel. I'm with Israel, read. And that I am the Lord your God. Israel, I'm the Lord your God. And none else. And nobody else is God. This is the hard truth that okay. our people have to accept about the Bible. Either you love God enough to believe his word, or you're going to love the white man enough to believe what he says. We, our job is just to make you aware. Okay. Once we make you aware, it's your responsibility yep. to apply. Well, um, let me activate the phone lines. Uh, if you want to give us a call and ask a direct question and seek clarity, you can you can do so. Why? Because they're here. It's zero two four six seven two one eight one eight or zero five zero nine one eight one seven seven zero zero five zero nine one eight one seven seven zero or zero two four six seven two one eight one eight um the given interpretation uh, how they understand it not through the white man's way not through your english dictionary way but through the bible that was written for uh, a group a group yes the israelites uh they've, they've given explanation to john three uh, 16. Uh, do you share in it? Do you appreciate it? Do you have some questions? Do you have some doubts? Uh, give us a call and ask your questions directly. Hello, good morning. What's up, my big brother? I take them, senior. We are good friends. Bill. Hey, Bill. <laughs> What's up? Bill, I'm good. Bill, uh, you're back, so they've noticed you. Bill, any question today? <laughs> Is he they are jamming the whole thing up. So I'm getting a bit confused. You know, from here, you move here, you move there, you go, and then you explain, blah, 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 blah. But my point is, yesterday I asked three questions, and it was not answered. Either. Yeah, I'm listening to you. Okay. Adam and Eve were the first people God created. And they conceived. Adam knew his wife. They conceived Cain and Abel. They offered sacrifice. They did not accept God accepted one, did not accept one. And then the brother killed. Is it Cain or Abel or whatever? Like. Then he moved from there. I think he was stuck from the garden or whatever it is. And he went elsewhere and gave birth. Who, who are those people that Cain went and then married? I, I don't know. Where are they from? Are they explain to because I know Adam and Eve were the first people God created in the Garden of Eden. But one of their children went 
and remarry and get back. I don't have the Bible with me here. I've got them. So those people are they from? Okay, so so that's a question. That that's a question today. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So um, uh, he's asking about the creation story. We we said we're going to touch about. I think we didn't go there. Yes. And God created Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. and he's asking. Those are the two God created mm -hmm. in His own image. Mm -hmm. Now they knew each other mm -hmm. and had children. Mm -hmm. There was an issue between Cain and Abel, mm -hmm. and one died. Mm -hmm. So one was banished from the sight of God. Mm -hmm. So he moved, mm -hmm. and there was a mark that was given mm -hmm. so that he could be identified by others. Mm -hmm. His question is, the others, mm -hmm. who are those people? They come out of Adam as well. Let's show you. This is Second Ezra, chapter uh, Bill, I hope you're listening. Write this down. Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. And after, I got the, it, I got oh, okay. Go and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, mm -hmm. of him come we all. Of him come we all. Of him come we all. Come on. And the people also mm -hmm. whom thou hast chosen. Come on. All this have I spoken before thee, mm -hmm. O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. So the world was created for the Israelites only. Come on. As for the other people, mm -hmm. which also come of Adam. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. Come on. Thou hast said uh -huh. that they are nothing. Okay, you can oh, go ahead, finish it. Go ahead. But be like unto spittle, mm -hmm. and as like in the abundance of them mm -hmm. unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So Eve was the mother of all. When you read the book of Genesis, think about it. Genesis means the beginning. God is not going to put every single child that comes out of Adam out of Adam in the book of Genesis. The creation story was about those two were the most important. That's why Cain and Abel is listed in the book of Genesis. But the Bible tells you that all the other nations come out of Adam and Eve as well. So when Cain was kicked out of the Garden of Eden and went to Nod, that's where he met his his wife, which came from the other nations. But the chosen seed line came out of Abel. That's why it's written the way it's written no, in the no, book no, of Genesis. I, I've not got any clarity. I'll come back to that. There's a call on that. I'll, 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 because I, I'll come back to that. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Yes, good morning, sir. Yeah, um, my name is Amin. I'm calling from uh, airport right about Kumasi. Okay, let's hear you. Yeah, I think uh, before I touch my question, I, do, I want to make something clear, bef the, the question that was asked before. I think you were trying to make a point that if you read the Bible, first God created Adam and Eve. Then they gave birth to Cain and Abel, one killed the other, and the one left the parent. Now if you read the Bible, we say when he was returning, he came with the wife and children. So the person was asking, where from those people, the wife and the children, as, uh, let's let's take it as he he got there when he was coming back he came with the wife and children so we assume that the children were from the two of them so who was that woman that was the question the person was asking yes and that's the explanation they're giving that 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 woman or that uh, uh, uh person he found was also the offspring of adam and, and and if and if, and if read something like that but it's not so clear I'll, that, I'll come back to them for clarity oh so see that it doesn't mean that when the guy left the parent adam followed the guy with eve and then they gave birth over there for the guy to marry or what well that is the complexities in it i'll get some answers for you as well fantastic then my question is my question is i really like the teaching they are giving to us and i'll urge my fellow Ghanaians not to get angry with them, but also do more or further studies about what they are talking about. Yes, yes. And so my, my question is, I want to know from them, why did God create man? Why did God create man? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the answer will give me a follow-up question. So why did God create man? So, okay, so can you stay on? Yes, I will. Okay, then stay on. Uh, is accent... Why God created man in the man. first place? Yes. Is there an answer to that? Yeah, because he wanted to. 
<laughs> just that. Yes. Okay. So. Give me Isaiah. Okay. He, he wanted to create yeah, it, it was God's will. He, yeah. he wanted to create man. <laughs> no, Give me that, has Isaiah. Reason. Everything has a yeah. Everything has a reason. He says everything has. So what was what was God's purpose? What was God's reason? Why did God create man? Yes. That is what he wants. What what they are telling us? Yeah. They have a reason. They have a purpose. Yeah. So God also have a purpose for creating man. Okay. You can't just say he came out of his will. Then why? <laughs> okay. Okay. They are, they, are, they, are, they are opening the Bible uh -huh. uh, to give a reference point. Isaiah and 55 then, and 8. Question, okay. He's he asking a follow-up. Okay. Yeah. If indeed, God has finished. He has created man. Yeah. What does God want man to do? What does God want from man? That is another question. What does God want from man? Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for having time and calling. Uh, why did God create man? What's the reason? Okay. Okay. What, 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 what is the reason that God created man? I got you. Yes. We're going to bring two scriptures. Okay. Give me Romans. Okay. Oh. Give me Romans first. Okay. So we'll hold on to the questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Romans 9 and verse 20. Read. Nay, this, is, this is why we made the statement that we made. Right? Okay. Nay, but, O oh man. Who art thou that replies against God? Who are you to reply against God? Come on. Shall the thing form? Shall the thing that was formed, the thing that was created, read. Say to him that formed it. Say to whom him that formed it, meaning God, can the man form, say to God, read. Why hast thou made me thus? That's a foolish question. God does what he wants. He does what he wants to. Okay. You can't reply to God and say, why hast thou made me? God created you and gave you a purpose. Okay. Just like... If you tell your children, go clean your room, and they say, why, Dad? What are you going to say? Go do what I said. You don't need a reply. Give me Isaiah 45. So sorry, we, 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 we cannot ask that question in the first no, place. No, you can't even ask that question in the first place. And this okay. is why. Isaiah 55. Verse 8. Verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, uh -huh. neither are your ways my ways, Read. saith the Lord. Come on. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, mm -hmm. and my thoughts than your thoughts. We like to think of God trying to be on our wavelength of thinking. Okay. God's thoughts are far higher than ours. It's okay. a foolish question to ask God, why has thou made me? When he told us and gave us the key of our purpose here on earth. Give me that. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. 12, to yeah. answer the other question he asked. Okay. 13. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. And I hope, the, like I said, and I appreciate the brother's questions, and we're not trying to offend you. No, no, no. no. So you, you, you're, us, you're quoting it from the Bible. Exactly. So. Yeah, but, you got it. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Mm -hmm. Fear God and keep his commandments. This says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Some people be asking, what is the meaning of life? Okay. The conclusion of the whole matter is fear God and keep his commandments. Read. For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of man. Notice we keep, we're always stressing, keep the commandments, keep the commandments. Yeah. The commandment is what God said to do. Don't let no one come between you and what God said to do. I want to bring something out for Bill. If Hopefully he's still listening because yeah. he made a comment. He, he said, um, the, he said they're going back and forth. They're picking this, picking this, blah, 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 blah. Those were his yeah, words. Yeah, yeah, he said Isaiah. Watch this. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 9 and 10. My brother Bill, this is how God said to understand the Bible. First, you got to be keeping the commandments to get wisdom. Mm -hmm. Then you must do this. God is going to explain why we go from one chapter to the next, from one book to the next. Go ahead. Isaiah 28 and 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Whom is God going to teach knowledge, Bill? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Who is going to make to understand doctrine, Bill? Come on. Them that are weaned from the milk. Weaned from the milk, meaning the laws of God. And drawn from the breast. And drawn from the breast. Come on. For precept must be upon precept. It says for precept must, not maybe. For precept must be upon precept. You know what a precept is, Bill? It's the law. The law. For precept must be upon precept. Come on. Precept upon precept. Law upon law. Come on. Line upon line. Line upon line, Bill. Come on. Line upon line. Uh-huh. Here a little. Uh-oh, Bill. Here a little in the New Testament. And there a little. There a little bit in the Old Testament. That's how God commands us to understand the Bible, Bill. So when you say things like they're jumping around, going back and forth, blah, 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 you're not making mockery of us. You're making mockery of God. And that's something that you don't want to do. Okay. So um, a question that needed clarity was, uh, I myself, uh, the, the way you handled that, I got confused along the line. I, or I, I, I was lost along the line. 
it's the creation story yes, sir. of which Adam and Eve mm-hmm. comes up, then Cain and Abel mm-hmm. comes up, then there's a situation mm-hmm. whereby Cain mm-hmm. kills his brother Abel mm-hmm. and he's sent out of the sight of God and mm-hmm. there's a form of punishment given him. The question Bale wanted was mm-hmm. he left the sight of his parents mm-hmm. and wandered on the earth Mm -hmm. he met people Mm -hmm. and came back with a family yes he did who did he meet he met a woman who from From where from adam adam gave birth to three sects of people you had the sons of you had the sons of man the sons of god and you had the sons of the wicked three those three branches of people came out of adam and eve that's why we read second ezra chapter 6 verse 54 which says out of adam came we all Remember, these things happen in a dispensation of time. It didn't happen from one day to the next. Hundreds this is a hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of years of procreation. That's the we got to get out of this mindset. Procreation. Okay. That's why um, when it talked about Cain slewing his brother Abel, it says in the process of time. All of these things weren't happening back to back, yeah. verse to verse. The verse was in a day. <laughs> verse one was in one day, and then verse two another day. This is after many 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 years Mm -hmm. it's really easy to understand but we're following what we're following what the white man has taught us that's why our judgment is so clouded that's why we have to be what weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast okay let me pick another uh caller on the line if you're also listening and you want to uh, clear some issues is 0246-721-818 or 0509-181770 hello good morning Good morning, Sila. Yes, sir. I hope you are fine. By the grace, I'm doing well. What about you? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, my, my question is... Uh, sorry, I know who's speaking. Yeah, this is Amin. Okay, Amin, let's hear you. Yes, my question is... Now, with a follow-up, uh, follow back to what you said. A follow-up question to where you started from, the creation. Uh, I want to know... The first place, what happened for the sacrifice to be done between the two boys of Adam and Eve? Okay. okay. What so, happened? Is, 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 is that a question? Yeah, there is a follow up with the answer. There's a follow up with the answer. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. You're still going to stay. Okay. He's going to stay on. He says he's got a follow up uh, uh, question as well, mm-hmm. depending on how the answer is given. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Ready for the answer? So he want to know what was the yeah. sacrifice? Yeah, he's listening. Okay. <laughs> Adam and Eve were created. Adam and Eve were walking gods on the earth. God dealt with Adam and Eve directly. Read Genesis chapter 3, verse 21. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 21. Mm-hmm. Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothe them. Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothe them. Why were they naked? And it's not told about naked the way this guy taught us. They had on clothes. When it talks about naked, it means their sin was revealed. Okay. The coats of skins was animal sacrifice. A lot of people think that animal sacrifice was first introduced to the, to the Levites when it came up out of Egypt. Guess what? It's been here since Genesis. The coats of skins was given to Adam and Eve to sacrifice for their sin. Remember before that, they were without sin, so there was no need for sacrifice. Right. Now jump to verse 4 and read verse uh 3. Genesis chapter chapter 4 and verse 3. Mm-hmm. And in process of time, oh, there's that word again, host. In, in process, process of, of time. time. Go ahead. It came to pass uh-huh. that Cain brought forth brought of the fruit of the ground. So Cain, because he was a tiller of the ground, he brought forth the fruit of the ground and he was disobedient to his parents because they taught him what to bring to God, to sacrifice. He decided to bring cassava, yam, and fufu. (laughs) Come on. (laughs) And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. Come on. And Abel. And Abel, come on. The the righteous line. Mm -hmm. Remember I said the sons of God? The righteous line. Come on. He also brought of the firstlings of his flock. Why did Abel bring the firstlings of this flock? Not only because he was a keeper of the sheep, but mommy and daddy, Adam and Eve, taught him in chapter 3, verse 21, the coats of skins, the right way to sacrifice unto God. 
Read. The fat thereof. Mm -hmm. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. You hear that? The Lord had respect unto Abel and his offering. Why? Because he followed the example, the righteous example so, of what Adam and Eve so, did. so he should have brought livestock. Y yes. The, no, the no, first. He was he should, he should, he so he should have brought him. livestock. Yes. The first. Not of his lifestyle. Cassava. No. Plantain. Yeah. As you talked about. Yes. And fufu. Don't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, what's your second question? They've heard you, but they also... One of the class certain things. Uh, you just uh, be on, if you want to be on the line, uh, you'll be on the line, yeah. I'm assuming my brother follows Islam. Um, I mean, he's asking a question. Okay. Uh, are you a Muslim? You know what I mean? Okay, he says yes. Yes, hence yes. the name I mean. Right? Okay. And the first thing that came out of his mouth was Islam. Okay, my brother, you are an Israelite according to the Bible. Islam is not for you. Islam is not halal, it's haram. Okay, God gave us laws, statutes, and commandments. Let's read something for you. Remember, Islam came 600 years after Christ died. 600 years came after Christ died. Read Isaiah 34, verse 16. Come on. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. The book of the Lord, Iman, is not the Quran. The book of the Lord is the Bible. Go ahead. No one of these shall fail. No prophecy shall fail. Do you know in the Bible is mentioned the, the um, Arab slave trade, the trans-Saharan slave trade is mentioned, Iman? Do you know that God prophesied through our forefathers that we would sit in the wilderness and listen to a bunch of Arabians teaching us about mm -hmm. Alua Akbar and pushing that doctrine on us? That's in the Bible. The Quran has no prophecies. Come on. None shall want her mate. The Bible says none shall want her mate, meaning you can't make the Bible with any other book. You can't make the Bible with the Quran. You can't make the Bible with any other book. It reigns and stands supreme. Come on. For my mouth it hath commanded. God's mouth has commanded these words to come to pass. Come on. And his spirit. And his hath, spirit. Come on. It hath gathered them. And it gathered the words of of God to be compiled into a bunch of records called the Bible and it's also gathering his people you got to come up out of that Islam we do not advocate or, or we do not read the Quran we read the Bible brother the Bible you want answers to the book of Genesis read the Bible I mean are you okay no, uh, I want to find out from them okay the the word of God, or is the Bible is um, the word of God? That's so the Bible is the word of God. Uh, the Bible is the word of God. That's their response. Uh, okay, fine. If the Bible is the word of God, where from the name Bible? Biblios. It's a Greek word that means biblios, which means composition of records. What composition of records? The records of the Israelites. Next question. <laughs> My next question is. And I hope this is going to be the last because others are also on the line, which we're getting them as well. What is religion? I want to know the meaning of religion from them. It means to constrain and hold back. It comes from the root word, the Latin word religio. What constrains and holds you back from your lust? It's the word of God. The word of God is supposed to discipline you. That's where religion comes from. Next question. <laughs> what was the religion of Adam? What? He's asking, what was the religion of Adam? Adam didn't have religion. Adam was the son of God, and he was keeping the laws of God. Next question. Thank you very much, Amin, <laughs> for calling and sharing your thoughts. Fred, to Israel united for Christ, uh, okay. in Christ. Um, so, what are your beliefs? Are you, are you, are you, what happens mm. if one wants to be associated with you? Now let's use let's the rest of the moment to talk about that. Let's get Revelations 14, read verse 12. Okay. To understand who we are. Can we read a few deep? Yeah. All right. This is Revelation chapter 14 and verse 12. Okay. Okay. Um, here is the patience of the saints. Mm -hmm. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. And the faith of Jesus. We are they that keep the commandments of God and the okay. faith in Jesus. You're going to remember this day, brother. You're going to remember when the prophets of God came unto you. Ghana, we're here right now. The prophets have been sent to teach you the Bible the correct way and to show you the way to the Lord. You have to decide what you're going to do on this day. What's happened, and we've gone through some topical things. This stuff, we just scratched the surface. 
what's happened is our people have been led away captive into these different theologies into these different doctrines and there's so much stuff that they've inserted in the bible it's hard for our people to even conceive that they are the chosen people of god okay we're showing you you Ghanaians, those people that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth whose families went into slavery with slave ships you are the israelites and we got to come back to keeping god's commandments and faith in his son so abi uh help for the benefit of our listeners uh -huh. what is the best way to refer to you the israel united in christ what is the best are you a foundation are you a church right we're the are servants. you a movement do you have a temple uh -huh. what, what what is the best reference we're simply the servants of the most high god we've been sent by the most high god so you're servants of god absolutely so if i belong to you mm -hmm. how, how do i it's not about belonging to us okay it's about you belonging to the most high we have to get rid of this mindset of but but if i'm part of you if i'm part of you if you're in our organization right yeah okay how do i refer if someone asks me, who am I? What do I say? You're an Israelite. Okay. It's that simple. You're an Israelite. You keep God's commandments. Okay. Notice, if you was to ask Moses the same question, he would tell you, what? I'm an Israelite. This is by far the most important show you've ever had, brother. I hope you understand. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, a baptism. Uh, do you have a, a baptism? Uh, what happens? If I, if I come to you, to be part of you mm -hmm. what happens do i need to go through uh, some processes yes the baptism or what what do i need to go through the baptism is being sanctified and cleansed through christ it's not water baptism that okay. was for john the baptism that we're being cleansed with now is the washing of the water by the word christ's spirit is what makes you clean now give me that what's that john 663 yeah mm -hmm. okay so if you are listening and you want to be associated with Israel united in Christ, uh, they are telling you what perhaps you need to uh, do. Mm -hmm. Yesterday they left their numbers, today as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll let them, they also left a uh, website as well. You can go to right. www.israelunite.org. Okay. This is John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, mm -hmm. the flesh profiteth mm -hmm. nothing. Come on. The words that I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life. So when you come into this understanding, yeah. the Bible gives you life. The words of God gives you life and you repent. You're born again. You change and you keep God's laws as an Israelite. Not a Ghanaian, not an African-American, not an African, not a Negro, not a nigger, not a spick. God's chosen people. You're an Israelite. You're from the tribe of Judah, brother. Okay. So, so now you're supposed to walk in a new light. You're supposed to walk even as Christ walked. Give me First John 2. First John chapter two and verse three. So there's no water dipping, no cleansing, no, no. no oil pouring on you, nothing. Remember, John said, "I indeed baptize you with water." Yeah. But there's one that cometh after me, whose shoes I'm not able to fill. He's going to baptize you with fire and the Holy Spirit, right? Yeah. So the water baptism that was that was John's ministry to bring us and lead us up unto Christ. Okay. Read that. This is First John chapter two and verse three. Here's the message. And hereby we do know. That we know him if we keep his commandments. Come on. He that saith, I know him. He that says, I know Jesus. And keepeth not his commandments. You don't keep his commandments. Is a liar. Is a what? Is a liar. Is a liar. Come on. And the truth is not in him. The truth. What is the truth? The laws of God. That's yeah. Psalms 119, 142. It says, thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law oh, is God. the truth. Read on. Okay. But whoso keepeth his word in him verily is the love of God perfected. And that's what we're teaching our people is to perfect the love of God. That's going to be within them once they repent and keep God's words. Read. Hereby know we that we are in him. Come on. He that saith he abideth in him mm -hmm. ought himself also so to walk even as he walked. So when you come into this wonderful understanding of who you are and where you come from and what you must do you have to walk even as he walked you got to follow in christ's footsteps because okay. he is the example that god sent for us to follow so um you worship on saturdays mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yep. and at the cultural center here yes, sir. so beyond the cultural center elsewhere that you are in other places, you have a, 
a structure you go to. Mm -hmm. Is it called a temple or what is it called if, if, if you have? School. School is school. Okay. So the building where you worship yeah, is called a school? It's school. You come to learn, come to worship, you come to learn, yeah. Okay. That's why we say come with a Bible, pen, okay. paper, notebook, come to learn. That's all. That's it, yeah. Remember, the church is the people. We covered that yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. The church is the people. Yeah. Not a building. Okay. The building is the church. In terms of marriage, what are your systems? If I belong to your organization and I want to marry, what do I need to follow? Because people may like to mm -hmm. connect with you, so they would need to know all of these before. Okay. Yeah. First and foremost, you have, uh, let's get Ephesians 4 first. Ephesians 4, verse uh, 23. Okay. And then Ecclesiastes. <clears throat> Ephesians, the fourth chapter mm -hmm. and the 23rd verse. Mm -hmm. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So this takes time to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Okay. It happens in what? A process of time. Yeah. That's why yesterday I referred to the word repenting, not I repented just yesterday and that's it it's a daily thing mm -hmm. so when you come in you got all that unrighteousness you got to get that out of your mind and slowly build yourself up to be the man that god wants you to be in the bible okay mm -hmm. first you do that you fix yourself first then you could acquire a wife okay. you have to be of maritable age okay you have to be of age you have to have a job a good job right to take care of you and your wife because with that comes what kids Right. So you got to have a job. You got to be right in your mind and you have to have a place. Okay. okay. But it takes time. It's not meet a woman and then go get married the next day. The Bible says to prove a friend. Let's get that. And so rock. beyond what you do, mm -hmm. I believe is evangelism. Can I call it evangelism? Yes. Okay. So yeah. you've got your own professional aspect as well. Yeah, we were individual. Yes, we have okay. jobs. Okay. Some of us are entrepreneurs. Um, some of us work. You know, for, for different companies and so forth. Okay. 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 Uh, Ecclesiasticus because 6 and 7. There are certain groups you join, they'll tell you, you can't watch TV, you know. The t television no, that's is not a, biblical. It's a devil's box and, you know. No, that's all, not biblical. All those things. Yeah. That's not biblical. You can, you can watch TV, but you do have to be wary of certain programming. Okay. You have to be very wary of certain programming. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Ecclesiasticus chapter 6 and verse 7. Mm -hmm. If thou wouldest get a friend... Prove him first. So the Bible said, if you wouldst get a friend, prove him first. Okay. So when you meet a young lady in our congregation, we make sure that he's ready, she's ready. Okay. They come together and they do what's called a courtship. Courting. You ever heard of courting? Yeah. You court. And that's courting with no sex. Okay? When okay. the time comes, he will betroth her in front of the whole congregation and say, I would like to take Sister Rebecca to be my wife. I've courted her for one year, two years, or three years. It takes time. Okay. The Bible says to prove a friend. Out here in Ghana, you don't have people proving each other. Oh, they do you have, that. They, they you, do that. Oh, well, you have a lot of uh, adultery going on as well. You might have courting. but It's, it's everywhere. It, but the it's Bible, not just in Ghana. It's but everywhere. the Bible says to court without sex. You have that in Ghana? It's everywhere. So you have that here. It's everywhere. Hmm. Okay. Everywhere courting? Are you saying they're, they're courting everywhere? Yeah, no, no. If I say it's everywhere, I mean uh -huh. in terms of geographically. Okay. It's everywhere. Okay. People well, are courting uh -huh. and having sex. Oh, meaning process, it's everywhere. In the process. Yes. People yes, are doing that. But that's not Some biblical. People, people are also doing that and abstaining. Maybe a small droplet uh, well, here and there. I, I've not but, done any research, so I cannot, yeah, I cannot put it. I would to have it. to say malarkey, and I'm using spiritual discernment for for for, for that. <laughs> okay, so the Bible says courting without sex. Okay, you betroth the woman, you come together, you get instruments of writing. Can I get that in Tobit? Let's get that in Tobit. Instruments of writing. Do you know what that is? No, tell me. A bill of marriage. So just like you can't uh, get a bill of divorce the bride, unless the you bride get a bill price, of the bride yeah. price. Yeah, it's called a marriage certificate. The bride price. Marriage certificate. It's called a marriage certificate. Okay, then that's quite different. Uh, you got so who gives that? When you go, you don't in Ghana. When you guys get married, you don't go down to city hall like you, yeah, they give you that. That's you need I mean. to publish that you want to marry yes X yes. or B. It is put out there for twenty one days. Yes. Yes. So that yes. happens. So that that's process biblical. Happens. That's biblical. You that got process that? happens. Yeah. Go ahead. Tobit chapter 7 verse uh, 14 mm -hmm. and called Edna his wife and took paper and did write an instrument of covenants 
and sealed it. You hear that? Instruments of covenant, an instrument of covenant and sealed it, writing. So we do it in writing as well. After that, we have what's called a wedding feast. And then after the wedding feast, they go to wherever they're going, whether it's a, a honeymoon or what they call honeymoon, resort, hotel, what do you house, describe as a wedding? What marriage. do you just describe as a wedding feast? Is it the white wedding? Or, a white wedding? Yeah, you know, what do you mean a white wedding? Well, well, you know the white. You know what I'm talking about. You mean dressed in white? Yeah, they dress in white. No, we wear the black we, and white. And no, 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 no. That's, that's, that's a bruni. Uh, that's, that's a white a, wedding. That's a bruni. What we call here is the traditional yeah, marriages. We do traditional. Okay. We do traditional biblical marriages. Because we people have, are marrying twice. They do the tradition and do the white wedding. No, we don't do white wedding. We do traditional Israelite marriages where we have garments. Okay. We have our traditional garments on the same way how they have the, the shanti cloths and so forth throughout okay. Africa. Traditional garments. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so no um, boyfriend and girlfriend in the Bible. <laughs> That's but you have you have a girlfriend? <laughs> yes, you do. You have a girlfriend? What do you have? You have a boyfriend? <laughs> you don't have a boyfriend, right? <laughs> okay, no boyfriend. Oh, okay, and you are you married? Isaac, why are you pushing? Are you married? I'm married. I'm married. You married good. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, he's Joshua. 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 Uh, but you he still need to ask yes. him. No, I know he's not married yet. He's okay. not married. Yet. Okay. He's gonna get a what? Oh, you are married. <laughs> oh damn, my bad. He is married. So he's good. All praises. <laughs> One wife. One wife okay. and marriage. Uh, Hebrews 13. It, it has to be one wife. Yeah, yes, that's what God wife. says. Yep. You can't marry more than that. No. 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 Okay. And I know that's against a lot of the traditions here. I know the Ashanti, they believe in polygamy and so forth. Let every man have their own wife. Yeah. Get a Hebrews 13 and then get... Um, Let every man have their own wife. Mm -hmm. Let's go with Hebrews 13. Traditionally, you can marry more than one. Hebrews Provided you can take care of them. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all, mm -hmm. and the bed undefiled. Mm -hmm. But whoremongers and adulterers, mm -hmm. God will judge. So marriage is honorable. It's an honorable thing for a man and a woman to get together in marriage, in holy matrimony. God says, but adulterers and whoremongers, he's going to judge. A whoremonger is a man that can't keep his penis in his pants. He goes from woman to woman to woman to woman. An adulterer, you already know what adultery is. Yeah, but, but this doesn't speak specifically that man should marry one wife. I, I thought you were going to go. Oh, no, we're oh, going to get that next. We're going right in. First Timothy. Okay. We're going to First Timothy chapter 3 and verse 12. Okay. First Timothy chapter 3 mm -hmm. and verse 12. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let the deacons be the husbands of one wife. Let the deacons be the husbands of one wife. One wife. One wife. Jump up to verse 2. That is a deacons. So deacons will All of to us are teachers. A deacons is just a teacher. <laughs> so everybody's a teacher. Remember what, remember, watch this. Okay. I'm going to show you. Remember what God called the nation of Israel? He said you're a nation of what? Did he say nation of regular men? He said you're a nation of kings and priests. All of us, that's why he said this is a school, not a church. Okay. Remember, when Christ walked with the disciples, he told them, go out and teach. When you come to the school to learn, your job is not to be, this is not Sunday school. Okay. This is not forever learning and nothing. No, you come in, you learn, and you go and teach. We're all teachers. Okay. Jump up. Chapter 3, verse 1. Mm -hmm. This is a true saying. Mm -hmm. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desireth a good work. Mm -hmm. A bishop must then must be blameless, mm -hmm. the husband of one wife, mm -hmm. vigilant, mm -hmm. sober, a, of good behavior. You got to be vigilant, sober. That's just not for a bishop or deacon. We also, because remember what the scripture says? A drunkard shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. The Bible says you shall be vigilant and sober. Come on. All of these are examples so that others can learn from you and follow you. Yes. A bishop then must be blameless. Mm -hmm. The husband of one wife. Uh -huh. Vigilant. Uh -huh. Sober. Of good behavior. So uh, so, so okay. the only person the only person that should be on good behavior is the bishop and deacon? No, we all need oh. to be on good behavior. Okay. So that's why all these attributes and characteristics that we're reading here yeah. applies to the whole nation. Okay. Okay. And that's something that I know is going to be very hard in this country to apply. Polygamy. Many of you love your multiple wives. You know you have the certain of the, uh, the Ashanti region, Ashanti chiefs, and so forth like that. But you got to make a decision. You're going to follow God or, you, or you're going to follow tradition. Mm. The choice is yours. Well, traditionally, polygamy is allowed. So When Christ comes back, not now. Okay. Now so, you have to refrain your lust. Refrain your lust. God wants to teach us what? Discipline. Okay. 
So what I just show you, I just show you a marriage that take place on one of our school mm -hmm. this Sunday actually. Okay. Uh, yes, day before yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's how we we don't do no. It's a, it's a beautiful white stuff. Uh, no, thing. We don't do that. Okay. So um, your 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 organization allows for anybody to be in any work at all, provided it's legal. Yes, legal yes, work. Uh, we, we don't promote it, it, illegal. It allows marriages as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, but in a certain way, it also allows you to know the Bible because a school. Yes, and that is the basis of all. Yes, and as we wrap up, um, yes, Jesus answered, um, "The way, the truth, and the life. Yes. No one comes to the Father except through me." Yes, absolutely, hundred percent agree. There's no other Messiah on earth but Jesus the Christ, and yeah. he's he's coming back, black man with white. Woman. He, he's coming back, right? Hell's yeah, he's coming back. He's going to judge everybody. Yes, the whole planet Earth will be judged. Everybody. 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 Young and old. Young and old. Christians and non-Christians. Christian, non-Christian. There is no... Buddhist. Buddhist, Islam, whatever you name it. White and blacks. White, blacks, whatever you want to call it. There is no white Jesus. There is no Allah. Okay. He's a black Messiah. You realize they're going to be judged for what they've done unto us. Okay. All of the affliction, the oppression, everything that they've done to us, okay. they're going to be judged for. 